Hello there! This video will teach you about some of Pidoco's most important features and utilities, and I hope that you will get a good idea of what Pidoco can do for you. Now let's get started. Normally when you have an idea, you take a piece of paper and write down a few notes and do some scribbles. With Pidoco, you simply create a new prototype and give it a name. In this case, I will name it My Great Idea. Now that I've named my prototype, let's create a new page for it. Simply click on Create a New Page and name it. I will name it Home Page. You can create as many pages as you wish. Now simply drag your page onto the workspace and double click to start working on it. On the left, you will find our ready made stencils, and just like you did with the previously created page, you can also drag and drop the stencils onto the page and start creating your prototype. The drag and drop capability will make your workflow more fluid and save you valuable time. In order to keep your work organized, you should use different layers. In my case, I will create a layer for my header menu and another layer for the body. You can reuse the header layer and simply include it on the other pages. You won't have to recreate it. The layers work just like in Photoshop. You can switch them on and off and reuse them at any time. I want to include some images and add some color to my prototype. You can simply upload your images to the server or just paste in a URL of an image. See? It's that easy. If you want to impress your client even more, you can also include videos or whole websites via the iframe function. Now I want to add some interactivity to my page. I want to link my menu buttons to the other pages which I will create in a moment. This way you can create a realistic prototype which has all the functionalities of a real project. The interactive features will help you present a prototype which will recreate click paths and can also uncover many problems once your test user gets his hands on it. Now that I've created my prototype with all the corresponding pages, let's test it. Just click on the Publish button in the menu at the top and choose a visualization mode. Pidoco offers a simple and a sketched mode. I will show you the sketched mode since it's really funky. With the sketched mode, you make it clear to your client that this is a prototype without losing any of the interactivity. What a neat look! The reviewer is a really useful application which lets you gather important feedback on your prototype. You can choose to add comments there for your own reference or invite people to review your work and leave comments for you. One of the great advantages is that you can simply drag and drop as many comments to elements of your prototype as you like and even start an online discussion. Now that I've finished my prototype, I want to share it with some coworkers. I simply close the page repository by clicking on the upper right hand corner and now I'm in the main repository in which I administrate all of my work and send out invites for getting my prototype reviewed. Here you can choose to open and create new versions of your prototypes. In case you need to go back to an earlier stage in your workflow, you can always do it here, quickly and easily, thanks to the Pidoco automated versioning feature. Here you can open and view all of the individual pages and start sending out invitations to your coworkers. The invitation will be sent via email and will only be available to the ones you choose to invite. This, by the way, is totally secure since they're all hash key encoded. You can choose whether they can view, comment, or even change parts of the prototype. It is up to you how much control you want to give over your prototype, and you can choose to revoke the permissions at any given time. In this section, you can invite people to a usability test. Just like with the review function, you can send out invitation links to selected users. You will be able to perform a one-on-one -on -one audio and video remote usability test. The conversation, as well as the test user's mouse movements, will be tracked and recorded. The great advantage of the remote usability tester is that usability problems can be spotted and corrected at an early stage. Therefore, expensive usability tests are a thing of the past. This was just a quick review of Pidoco's main features. In order to get a better idea, simply sign up for a no obligations free trial and discover Pidoco for yourself. Thank you for watching.